Hi, I'm Aaron Heiser with Maker's Leather Supply, and uh, we decided to do a little bit of a different type of video. It's going to be basically a series of videos, and we're going to make some bags. Um, as opposed to recording a bunch of video and then going back and editing and all the stuff and cutting and pasting and maybe forgetting spots, I'm going to post about an hour worth of video every day, um, or at least, you know, we'll just get to whatever point we wanted in the bag every day. And we'll just post it as we go. That way, folks that have these patterns can uh, can follow along, and maybe they'll uh, build it with us throughout the day. Um, right now, we just released two uh, new paper patterns for bags on uh, MakersLeatherSupply.com. One of them is the overnight bag. Um, it's a real nice kind of perfect size bag for like your overhead uh, overhead storage bin and airplanes and stuff like that. It's not too big. It's more of a, a short trip type thing. Um, it's a really nice bag. It's got a, a pocket on the side and it, uh, it zips open and closed. Um, this one is fully lined and we may talk about lining, but we will we'll get into that way later. Um, so anyway, but that's the overnight bag that we have a pattern for. And then this is the roll top rucksack. Um, it is a backpack. That's what rucksack is. Um, this one is made out of elk leather and wax canvas. Um, we've, we've got these products coming, uh, to, to be on our website very soon for anybody that wants to make one just like this one. But, um, this one, when you unbuckle it, you can unroll the top of it here. It's got a, a double zipper on it. Um, so you unzip it and there's a big old open bag right there. It is, it is really big. It holds a lot of stuff. It's got two pockets and these pockets, you can do them two different ways. Um, the, this one is, this pocket is completely separate than the inside of the bag, or you can just make it to where these are other access points to the inside of the bag. So anyway, um, again, this one's called the roll top rucksack and both of these paper patterns are available on uh, makersleathersupply.com right now. And if you wanted to get one, it's not too late because I guarantee you, you'll have that pattern in your hand and be able to catch up before we're done with the videos. Um, so here is one of the two paper patterns. We are going to start with the um, with the overnight bag, the uh, the first one I showed you. But this video is going to serve as video number one for both of those bags because I'm going to do the exact same thing in both of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper pattern. People are used to our our, um, our acrylic templates, and um, people have asked for an acrylic template for this, but it's a lot of surface area. It would take a really long time to make. Later on, if I get some bigger machines, it's, it's a very good possibility that we'll have them. But uh, right now, it's just not possible. That being said, um, I'm going to show you how to basically make this into kind of a, 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 a template. So what I have here, this is just some, some thin cardboard. Um, a little bit thicker than like a cereal box or a, uh, or a beer box, if that's your flavor. Um, you could easily go and get some poster board or something like that from the, the craft store or Walmart and do exactly what I'm about to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Super 77 spray, uh, spray glue. I'm going to turn the pattern back and spray it all over one side here and also on half of the pattern. Um, and then I'll just slowly roll the pattern back down and smooth it out onto there so it's nice and stuck. And then I'll turn back the other side and do the exact same thing. Um, from the other side. Uh, the biggest thing you have to watch out for when you're doing this is when you have it turned back, you need to make sure that the glue won't get on the, the, the surface part of it. Um, it is a, it, it can be, make it a little bit sticky. It won't ruin it by any means, but it'll just be annoying and sticky for a long time. Um, but this glue works a lot like contact cement where you have to spray it on the back of this and the front of this to get the two to adhere the best. Um, and then I'll, I'll smooth everything out and get it stuck down and then we'll, uh, we'll cut out each of these pieces. And again, that's, that's all we're going to do on tonight's video. Um, then tomorrow night's video, we'll talk about selecting leather and, uh, putting, uh, starting to, uh, cut out pieces for the bag. So I'm going to try at the beginning of each video to talk about what we'll do in that video. And then also like what tools and materials you might need for that video. That way, um, Folks, it's easier for folks to, to catch up and they don't get 30 minutes in and then decide that, oh crap, I needed something else. Um, so I'm going to get started with this. 
I am going to fold this hat back and I'll just put a slight little crease there to help me out. Take my Super 77 spray. Um, Super 77, it doesn't have a terrible smell or anything, but it has a crazy overspray. Normally, I do not like to uh, to spray this stuff inside the shop at all. I normally take it. To, that was Lucy sneezing right there because <laughs> she got some of that overspray. Um, every time I use it, I actually can feel like the, the arms on my hairs or the hairs on my arms. Um, I can feel them. They've got glue on them, you know, so it's just weird. And I mean, it's not enough to really do anything. It just, it almost is like the, the feeling of walking through a spider web. So, um, we gave that a few seconds to kind of set up, and I'm going to just slowly roll this pattern back down, trying to not to let it get any um, wrinkles or anything like that in it, because that'll change the overall shape of everything. So there we go. We got half of it down. That was easy. If we don't screw up the other half, we'll call this a success already. Um, the cardboard that I'm using, this is something that I get when I order a bunch of Herman Oak. It's all wrapped up in this. And I usually have a ton of it, but I did a video recently where I offered anybody that came to the shop that needed some could have some. And now I'm down to like three pieces. I did have like 40 or 50 of them probably. <laughs> so that's great though. I'm glad people are getting to use it because it was starting to really stack up here. So. All right, same thing. We're just going to kind of roll the pattern down slowly. Whoa, I say slowly and then I drop it. Let's see what we can do here. Still nice and smooth. Um, cutting this out, depending on what kind of backing you're using or cardboard, um, my idea would be to first just kind of rough cut it with a, uh, a nice sharp leather knife or something and rough cut all your pieces out uh, so that you're not working over a large area like this. Um, and then you can go back and uh, you can use a pair of scissors or just, you know, go back with the exact same knife even and carefully trim around your corners and things like that. So um, I'm just going to cut out a piece or two here, and then we're going to call this tonight's video. I don't want to get too far ahead because we just started mailing out these patterns on Monday, I think. And so I want folks to uh, have a chance to receive theirs and start working with it um, so that we can kind of build this all together. So this is the uh, side pocket. Um, you can cut out when it comes to leather you can cut out either one or two of these it says it right there on the pattern um i've made bags both ways the one that i showed for the camera a while ago has a side pocket on each side but the one i made just the other day for my dad for father's day only has one pocket so so this one has nice straight edges so it's pretty easy to cut out is why I just went ahead and cut out the exact pattern itself. Of course, I was trying to be too gentle. Um, this entire table is a cutting board. Otherwise, please have a cutting board or something to protect your knife. So there it is. There's the first part of my pattern. As I cut them out, I'm going to take my uh, squeaky toy and I'm going to roll all over them. And just make dang sure that everything's nice and stuck, especially around the edges. Just like that. So, I'm not going to bore you with watching me cut out all the rest of these. But, um, there it is. That's what we're doing on tonight's part. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk about what kind of leather that we would make a bag like this out of. And then we will uh, start laying out our patterns on our side. And uh, we'll talk about what pieces need to be cut out of what areas and things like that. So, um, hope y'all are excited about this. I know a lot of people were really wanting these patterns after I started posting pictures of the bags and stuff on Facebook. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun project. And uh, I, I think that a lot of people enjoy it if they do it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I'm Aaron Heiser with Makers Leather Supply. You can find all this at www.makersleathersupply.com. Have a great night.